Okay, dear friends, welcome back. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be Blogger One. I will put the link into the description section below, so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind. Please consider to sub sub subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the virtual box, and also I configure its network adapter as host only mode. Now we can go into the Linux. As you can see, I have already done the Nmap scanning.、Uh, from Nmap scan results, as you can see over here, the two open ports. The first one is twenty-two, which is running SSH surface, and also the actual version information. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have doesn't have any vulnerability. What we can exploit. The second open port is eighty, which runs HTTP surface, and also the actual version information is displayed over here. And、uh, what we are going to do next is to do some emulation for the eighty port. So now let's open up our browser of Firefox. And、uh, you you need to follow the instruction of the author. We need to configure the hot file. For example, like、uh, because I have already done that before. You need to put the host name information. I mean the mapping information between IP address of the virtual machine and host name. So now we can. Go back to our browser, and let's visit this domain. And、uh, and this one, of course,、uh, most of the content is static. For example, like about no super link at all on this, and also. Is the same as same for for the surface and projects and contact, and there is also the login, but this login window doesn't work properly. Okay, so I think the site itself cannot give us any useful information. Now we need to do some emulation for this. Uh, for this site, for example, like use the GoBuster, and、uh, to I'd like to auto complete this command. And、uh, there's some files like images and、uh, CSS, Cascade, Style Sheet,、uh, directories. But I can tell you, this virtual machine is very special in the. Directory of assets. For example, like we can visit this web this directory, and there's some subdirectories like CSS, fonts, images, GS. You know, for most cases or occasions, the fonts. Just、uh, install some font file, and、uh, will not give us any、uh, information useful to us. But、uh, in this virtual machine, in this case, if we click this subdirectory, as you can see, although in this subdirectory there's some font file like、uh, this, this, this. But、uh, there is also very important the directory which is block. And now we can click this block 
directory. And this time, it looks like、uh, some sort of the WordPress, WordPress installation. Also, you can confirm this by looking at the bottom information WordPress theme. So I think now we can use the WordPress again too to do some immersion. So I will interrupt this process of direct immersion, and now we can use the WordPress again to. Maybe we can just、uh, copy the whole path of the WordPress installation, installation, and specify the command or option E. And U stands for user name. P means plugins. And、uh, WordPress again too. Has identified two users, two user names, the this one and this one. Of course, we can use the same WordPress again to crack the password. For example, like、uh, WordPress scam, and、uh, this time we can specify the user name and the word list. But I can tell you. You will not succeed in cracking the password. I because I don't want the video a bit long, so I'd like to cancel this process of password cracking. So I think now for the WordPress installation, if we cannot crack the password for the users. Maybe we can try to or attempt to identify vulnerable plugins, and uh, and uh, this one. This time, we can specify the option as plugins detections, and the value is mixed. So now. The WordPress scanning, WordPress scan two, will try to emulate all plugins and to see whether there is vulnerable, vulnerable one. Okay, the WordPress scan. Has identified the plugins. Of course, as we know,、uh, this plugin, Akismet, doesn't have vulnerability. But this one, WordPress discuss plugin and also the version. We can make a search or research by the engine, search engine like Google. Or Bing, and、uh, we can know、uh, this version has vulnerability, which is unauthenticated arbitrary file upload, and we can use this one to to for our purpose to get、uh, to upload our reverse shell. Reverse shell script onto the virtual machine, and I think in general there are two ways. The first way is the manual way. Manual way, we just、uh, go to any any post, for example, this post, and、uh, we can scroll down in the comment section. And we can click the icon and、uh, upload the image file, and use the Bob Suite to intercept the request. Of course, we need to change the name of the shell .php to the shell .gif, 
and also we need to add the need to add the header information. Need this head header information into our reverse shell dot php file, and then you can successfully upload this shell dot php. Of course, this is the manual way, and also we can use the script, like a Python script. I have already opened up this GitHub, and you can git colon or download this Python script to exploit this arbitrary file up file upload vulnerability. I have already done that before. So now we can go back to our terminal and go to this directory, and we can run. And this this Python script is written by Python three, and we need to specify the. Of course, you can you can take a look. You can take a look at the. The code of the file, and、uh, now we just、uh, specify the base URL. Yeah, this is the base URL, and、uh, we can put it here. And also, you need to put the the post the this one. Of course, you can select any post. For example, we can select this one. And we can make a copy, and、uh, here, run. Yeah, it seems that we have already successfully、uh, got the web shell. We can check the ID, no problem. We can check the netcat. Your netcat is installed. And I can tell you, I tried. Of course, this is just a web shell. It's not a normal or ordinary shell, which is not a good thing for us. And、uh, next, we need to get the normal shell. And to do this, you can try several ways, like uh, like uh, this one, also like、uh, the Python. And also like、uh, this way, but I can tell you, I tried several ways. Only Python three succeed, and I have already make a copy of this command. So just、uh, copy in, copy this line of code or command into here, and before we hit enter. We need to set up the listener on the Kali Linux, and now we can hit enter. Now we got the normal shell, and、uh, we can check the Python. Python two is not there. Python three is okay. And we can make our shell to be more interactive. Sorry, I misspell. Pty, Pty spawn. Okay, and go to the home directory. I can tell you there is one user vagrant. You know, vagrant. Maybe the password is also vagrant. If if you did if you did some 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 sort of a similar、uh, CTF exercise, you will know this, and we can switch our shell. Yeah, now we. Successfully switched our shell to the vagrant, and then we can check sudo. Yeah, this user can run all commands without supplying 
the root password. So it will be very easy to elevate to the root privilege. And now we can go to the root directory and get the root flag here. But this flag, root flag is encoded. It's okay. We just decode this message. Tunnel to base 64. Yeah, now we successfully retrieved the root flag without any issue. So that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.